so many marketplaces now, it's hard to find something that's creative, but at the same time, you've got to have a name that speaks exactly to what you are. The name says it all. Vin for vintage and Teeks for, well, I think you get it. Well, we have about 15 different vendors and they all have their own style. They have their own space that they create whatever, uh, you know, the style that they prefer. Amy definitely has her own style. Check out her take on some vintage furnishings. This right here is a, a Queen Anne style desk. It has the black at, at the bottom, but it has a layered painted treatment on the top. And it has about four or five different layers. You start out with one and just keep on layering it with different paints and different colors. And this piece right here is a French provincial piece, probably from the 1950s. Originally, I got it out of an estate sale and it was like a dark, ugly brown. And I came in and painted it a hot pink with a gold accent and gold dipping at the bottom. And for those manly men who think pink furniture not quite their style, they can just take a walk toward the back of the store. And this is Kevin's uh, man cave, and we have, he has a lot of men type stuff. It's not foo-foo stuff, but the men love to come and hang out here and hunt through all the stuff and look for tools and different things that they enjoy, rusty crusty stuff. Yeah, she said rusty crusty, but I think it fits. I mean, what else would you call an old traffic light? This light here we found in Texas. Um, it's a retired light, street light. And when was the last time you ever seen one not hanging up 30 feet up in the air? <laughs> Nowadays, kids just pop their money into it and push a button, it pops out the bottom. But back then, we had to struggle and hope it didn't get locked up. <laughs> Kevin's wife, Allison, always joins him on his antique adventures, and she usually brings back her own cool stuff. This is an old yarn winder that I found at the 100 Mile Garage Sale in Texas. Uh, I know that it's over 100 years old, and I think it's a great conversation piece. Amy has high hopes for her new store because there's certainly no shortage of new customers for old stuff. I've done it since I probably was in my 20s and just have a real passion for, you know, repurposing, for creating something uh, new out of something that's, you know, that somebody else would like to throw away. Here at Ventiques in Norman, you can look at French, French country, English, art deco, or uh, mid-century decor. But see, me, I'm more of a vintage, retro kind of guy. That's why I like hanging out here at the vinyl resting place. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll find some of my old albums that my kid brother stole from me. In Norman, discovering Oklahoma, I'm Darren Brown.